Greetings, dear ones. I'm Kryan of Magnetic Service. The process of channeling requires that my partner step aside. And if you have listened to the various channelings that he makes available, there's always something there that you might not have been aware of. There's a space, a silence between my greeting and my first words. And in this silence, there is a process my partner goes through that he has learned to do. Where he steps aside and shuts the door to everything he is. The channels don't last that long because he cannot sustain that. Which he has explained to some. He's listening like you are. But after a time for survival, he must come back. And we honor that even in this message and the timing of it, the duration of it. And it's an important message. This is for all, for right now. The date of this channeling is being recorded in the way it is being presented. That is to say, you can look and see what the day is today. It's important because of what's happening on the planet. Dear ones, I'm going to give you the title. Don't despair. What is most offensive to those who would love God and feel the presence of God, understand the principles of life? What is the most offensive to you? It's happening on the planet. What is the worst thing the disconnect from you and God, what would it be? One word. Fear. If you become afraid, my dear family, then the dark side wins. I want to run you through some concepts of fear. And in the process, I might touch every heart here. You've gone through a year of recalibration, slopping into this year, even through the first six months, slower than you wanted. Only to come face to face with things you don't understand. I gave you a hint of this. I gave you a prediction and you can go find it. That there would be a war in the Middle East about now. And there is. It's not an accident. The things that are happening right now on the planet are not an accident. And I'm going to walk through some of them in a moment. But first I want to get personal. Dear ones, for 25 years we have been telling you that there was a potential of planetary shift. The predictions that were made about your termination were real at the time they were given. All of them. Because that's where you were headed. Some of the finest esoteric minds of the planet gave you fearful information about what was, what was going to be upon you. And at the moment they gave those predictions, it was accurate. 
and mostly before 1987. After the harmonic convergence, after things started to move, and what we will call the snowball started to roll, and we saw the potentials, I came in in 1989. The messages were simple back then. They were get you ready to be alerted. I told you to drop your karma. I told you to get ready to take your power. I told you that the planet was not going to go into destruction. There would be no Armageddon, no World War III. And now you sit here in 2014 and you know I was right. But just when you thought perhaps that rose garden you want to walk in is not available. <laughs> it's just not here yet. Just when you thought things would start to turn around, that, that you'd see a higher consciousness of beauty and love of life and understanding and tolerance, you'd get none. He didn't expect that. I'll tell you about that in a minute. What are the greatest fears that a light worker, an old soul has? And number one, and let's just call it what it is, is change. You don't want change. And yet I have told you that this is the way it's going to be. This is a review. It's never going to return to where it was. There is no more normal. We told you that. Why do you fear it? And your answer right now, and I hear you coming back at me and saying, because the change is bad. Because what we're seeing is not what we expected. Give us good change, not bad change. <laughs> you fear it because you don't understand it. Don't despair. The kinds of changes that are going to have to happen to humanity in order to have peace on earth in order to have a change in human nature are going to take a while and we have said it over and over you have planted the seeds of light don't get up the next morning tap your foot and watch them grow because they're not going to grow that fast. How long before a crop shows itself? After you plant the seed. It takes a while for you even to believe it took. And already you're complaining. I hear you. We didn't expect this. We planted seeds and we got storm. <laughs> and that makes you afraid. Did you do it right? Did you not do it right? Did you miss something along the way? Don't despair. You didn't miss anything. Not a thing. But I need you to pay attention. When you planted the seeds of light, you made a statement to the dark side. That the old energy on this planet you challenged. You pass the marker. The wobble of the earth starts to continue. The precession of the equinoxes is over and you're still here. And dear ones, this was the prediction of the ancients that if this should occur, that you would plant those seeds on this planet of light and begin a softening of earth of consciousness, of awareness, of gentleness, of love, and everything I just mentioned flies in the face of those who would want hatred and evil. And they can feel it. They know who you are. Not in 3D, but energetically, you've thrown down the gauntlet. 
accompanying all of this change are the recalibration issues that some of you had. We should look at some of them. Why should your health suffer during a time of, of spiritual shift? Wouldn't you expect healing instead of problems? Well, that's the human being who just felt that they could keep all the old tools and move into the new energy and everything would be fine. Not understanding. The old tools aren't going to work. The recalibration of your DNA, your consciousness, your very health quotient is going to come with problems. Some of you had metaphoric health issues. It wasn't what was wrong with your body, is what, what it meant. Did you have problems with your ears, your eyes, some of your organs? They all mean other things. What was the lesson? What's the lesson? Look into this, dear ones, for the recalibration of you and your health is fearful if you don't understand it. Did you get afraid? Did you think, what did I do wrong? Is evil winning on the planet? Is there something getting to me that I didn't, I didn't expect? Why should I have health issues? Did I ever tell you what causes the common cold? By the way, which you will never, ever cure. <laughs> It's being human. A common cold is a recalibration of cellular health quotient. You got to have a little bit of it in order to stimulate those parts of your body which fight disease and colds. Everything is involved in that. You'll continue to get them. I double dare you. Next time you get a cold, thank you, God, for my cold. <laughs> Some of you know I'm right. Some of you will say, well, that can't be right because I get, I get one cold a year and my friend gets five. So how do you justify that, crying? There's no justification. Do you understand you are different people? <laughs> do you understand your processes are different? Your biology is different? It's simple. Some people take longer, some people don't. That is what is going on with your health. Don't be surprised if you carry a little tincture of your health issue for the rest of your life, just as a reminder of what you've gone through to get to where you are. This is the body that does this. It's spirit that does this. You haven't done anything wrong. Don't despair. Then there are those, the healers, the psychics, the channelers, who moved off center and have lost the connection. Maybe not fully, but just enough so they don't want to do it anymore. They're fearful that they're losing it. The fear is there and they're asking, what did I do wrong? Why now? Some are at the pinnacle of their career. The work is higher than it's ever been before. And they realize they're just a little off center from what they were before. And that's not acceptable. There's nothing like being in the core, is there? When you drop into the core, healer, you know exactly what to do. Channeler, you know what to do. Psychic, you know what to do. In it comes and it flows so sweetly and so beautifully. And the results are spectacular. And those who would come to see you are indeed helped and healed. And you can finish the day and you'll say to yourself, we did a good job. 
And when that communication starts to be lessened, even by a little, it's awkward and it's fearful and it hurts. It hurts your heart because you wonder why God abandoned you and would take away something so good and so beautiful. And I want to tell you, listen to me, don't despair. Not only is it coming back, but if you will stay out of fear and relax, it's coming back double. That is the recalibration. It takes time. All the cells in your body have to be switched and changed over a period of time. Regular body rejuvenation processes are involved for new consciousness to be imbued into an old energy body. Healer, psychic, channeler. You haven't lost anything. I want you just to sit and I double dare you. Thank you, Spirit, for what I'm going through. Hmm? That's the opposite of fear. It's faith. It's the light worker who knows better because they've been through it. They have the wisdom. They won't be fooled into thinking that they lost it. And speaking of losing it, the other fear, those who are questioning their belief system and their faith entirely. Too many things have happened to me that are bad, cry on. I used to listen to your words and feel so comforted. I listen to your words now and they fall on the floor. I don't feel anything anymore. I'm questioning whether I did it right. Did I spend all these years as a fool thinking that these things were accurate and true? Some of you will say, well, the church didn't have anything for me, and now you don't either. And I'm sitting here, I don't feel alone. I have a message for you. Don't despair. Wait until those seeds start to come up. And they will know you. And you will know them. And they will look at you and say, thank you for your patience. Dear one, take my hand again. <laughs> Can you give us that? Process takes time. Can you get through it without falling apart? <laughs> emotionally or questioning yourself or going into the the spin of drama don't despair hang on to anything you can remember what it was like if you need to and I'll tell you it's coming back how long it will take is individual how many colds do you have a year it's individual. There is no one solution to all issues, and there never will be. And so a lot of this is you and your process in staying out of fear. And then just when you thought everything was getting better, the Middle East erupts. Let's talk about it. I want to talk about it in several ways. The first thing is remember I told you it would happen. Thousands of years of trained hatred is not going to fall over simply because you passed the precession of the equinoxes. Cultures who have never gotten along and taught their children who the enemy was are not going to suddenly become gentle and loving toward those who were former enemies. This may take generations of wisdom in order to finally settle. But right now, I want you to see what's happening so you'll understand. Listen, 
in three dimensions when you have championship ball games. You go through a process of deciding who is the best team, do you not? And when they finally come together, they are the best of the best, are they not? And they come together in a final battle which will be difficult for both of them because they are fighting the ones who have trained the hardest. Old soul, I want you to meet the new ones on the planet who want to destroy everything that is light. And you know who I'm talking about. Suddenly they appear and they appear ugly. They appear with funding against all odds. They're strong. Don't despair. Because light is going to win. And those who will promote hatred, intolerance, and no respect for life cannot survive on a planet that wants the opposite. And they won't. But you're going to have to watch it as it unfolds. And you're going to have to watch the championship. Lightworker, it's the worst thing you can imagine. Having the dark side emerge to the point where you have to see it on television. Where you have to envision it for yourself because you are empaths, all of you. And it makes you just want to quit. I have been where you are because I live with you. I see the tears. I feel the emotion. God, does this really have to be? And the answer is yes. It has to be because you passed this marker and you cannot keep things the same. Decisions of light and dark have to be made finally on this planet. You cannot have marauding groups of murderers in the midst of those on the planet who all they want is light. Have I said it strong enough? <laughs> Don't despair. And so the championship is afoot. And if you fall into fear in any of those areas I've given you, I want to tell you, you're giving ammunition to the other side. If you're going to win this championship, and you will, you got to stay out of fear. you got to endure the emotional arrows that penetrate your heart when you see lives taken innocence killed the Middle East is awakening to itself not just the problems in Iraq not just Egypt not not just Israel the whole area you haven't even heard from Iran yet <laughs> and they will all go through their processes What is the earth going to do? They're going to, let, they're going to let it be known. What do the most people on this planet really want? In the past, they've simply ignored the Middle East. They can do what they want. I think you're going to find this time, it's different. We see the snowball rolling. The snowball is a metaphor for a higher consciousness thinking of most of humanity on this planet. And the young people are at the forefront of the snowball. They will be the ones who object first. They will be the ones who do not follow the instructions of their leaders of hatred and war. They will be the ones who will fuel peace on earth. Light worker, it's your job to make sure that those seeds you plant grow. And they will not grow in a field of fear. Don't despair. 
Could the message be clearer of what you're supposed to do? When I close this message, I want you to stay in your seats for a moment and contemplate what I've said. And then I want you to dismiss yourselves when you wish. It's not necessary to stay quiet. It's just that I want you to to end this meeting in your own way. And maybe it'll be with a message that you have to yourself on the other side. Maybe it'll be a message that you have to the cells in your body. Maybe it'll be an affirmation. Maybe it'll be just quietness. Not long. Just enough to acknowledge to spirit, you heard what I said today. Dear spirit, I will not be in fear. Help me to remember this. Help me to remember my magnificence, dear God. Help me to keep the fields and the seeds of light clear of contamination and fear and doubt, worry, so that they can grow strong. And the result will be light on this planet, peace on earth, community spirit coming together, not tearing apart. Where enemies can eventually look at each other and survive next to each other with understandings and tolerance that will eventually grow into normalcy. And let me be the one to plant the seed for that. That would be a good start. Think on these things, for they represent truth today. And so it is. <laughs>